This is Scott the Fixer Guy. Today we're dealing with a duet washing machine that won't drain. And these are a couple of things you can do to get it draining again. So the first thing we do is get it unplugged and turn off the water. We're going to pull it away from the wall by about two feet. And then we're going to lean it back against the wall to 45 degrees just to make it easier to get to the components. Make sure that it is pretty secure before you start working with it. Make sure that it won't tip back forward towards you. So we're going to remove two of these screws here at the bottom that are holding the bottom plate on. And I'm using a Torx 15 bit to get those off. So spin out the left one. Got out the right one, and we're going to use a standard head screwdriver to help just kind of pry, pry it loose. Then I'm opening up the coin trap here by turning left. Let's see if there's any obstruction in there. When you tilt the machine back, um, it's less likely any water will come out, but it's probably better to bail all the water out first. So nothing in the coin trap. Now I'm reaching inside to the right. There's a little hole there where the impeller sits, and I'm just turning it with my finger to make sure that it can turn. It is turning okay, so I want to open it up now and see if I can figure out what's going on with the pump. So I remove one little screw here from the front, and I'm going to remove the little modular electrical connector on the right side of the motor, and then I just got to take off the two hoses that are connected to the drain housing. There's the big black one behind that brings water from the tub to the drain. And then there's a uh, tube on the right hand side that's bringing water out away from the washer. So I use my pliers to get the spring clip off the back hose and pull the back black hose off. Now I use my Hose clamp pliers to get to, you can use regular pliers too, to get to the spring clamp on the drain hose, which is again more to the right. I got that off, and now I can pull the whole drain housing and drain motor out. I'm just going to slide them out underneath the wires. Now give me a chance to get a better look what's going on. Sometimes there's things caught inside the housing that are keeping the impeller from turning. It did feel like the impeller was okay though, that it was turning. So there might be something else going on. So I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove three Phillips head screws that attach the motor to the pump housing. So zip those out. So we got the screws out and now we can just pull and separate the motor <clears throat> from the pump housing. And then I'm just going to feel, uh, there's no, I don't see any obstruction, but I'm going to feel if the impeller can turn easily. So it's turning easily, but it sound, feels like it's a little bit loose. It feels like it's not really on the shaft very well. So I'm pulling it out a little bit and then I'm going to push it back in. And then it feels like it's on there tighter. So I'll put it back together and give it a test, but it may need a new pump. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance.